So like, I can't record another album, actually, until I figure out like who, where, which is the next place like Ricardo as a person needs to go. Mm. I can record songs and little snippets and throw them here, mm. do some concepts here, but I actually can't record another album without figuring it myself out. Like, you know, I always say that it could take me another two years, three years to make my next album. It could. All I'm saying though is and, that like... But like I say, that will never stop like, it will never stop like the love of creating music. Mm. It's just that people are going to have to get it when I'm ready to give it to them. Yeah. All right, well, all I'm just saying is that, you know, people want to hear the music. Yeah, no, people and, are going to hear people, music. Besides, not besides like a full project. Yeah. You know, you've got a base. Yeah. You know, you've got a base that you've built of like your mixtape stuff. Mm. You've got a base that you've built literally like, you know, you've you got to be careful mm. of being caught up in who Ricky Rick is right now. Mm. That like you actually lose, um, because you know, the people that are vouching for you mm. are sick, are your secondary fans. Mm. And your the your first the guys who started saying, but we told you so. Mm. So you gotta also be careful of of um, allowing your creativity to talk mm. to to be based on what the secondary fans, because there's more secondary fans. Mm. But your primary fans, they they, they, they voices are lower. Mm. But they the guys that fight for you out there in the so streets. Then, yeah, so maybe I'll drop some. I drop a few trinkets for them, and you know, some things that's on my head for them. But what I wanna really let people know, and I've said this since Family Values. Yeah. Family Values was my last album. Yeah. That was my f my first album to everybody else, but it was literally like that was actually my last album. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember the conversation, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I don't yeah, know yeah. if you yeah. can do a little rewind yeah, right. there. We will get it. We will get it. Yeah. <laughs> Family Values was my last album, mm. so the next album is gonna have to, for me, creatively, is like, has to go to a different place creatively. And that takes time, you know? Yeah. And like, of course, you lose people on the way. I remember when Frank Ocean, when Frank Ocean was, uh, kept pushing back his, his album. He pushed yeah. the album back maybe for three years. And people kept complaining and, you know, like you said, people yeah. get really hungry and they're yeah. frustrated. Yeah. But when it comes, there's nothing better than actually like, receiving a project that you can sense the growth in, in, in an artist, you know? Mm. Which I think a lot of artists in SA struggle with. Uh, they struggle with sort of growing with who they are and their music to translate the same thing. Mm. So you sort of keep chasing the waterfalls and the person that you are doesn't translate sort of like on the music. It's not the same thing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I'm not part of the music business. Like, mm. I don't like, I don't sit in music business industries. Like, I don't consider myself as part of the music business. Mm, mm. It's just like, something that we can do and want to fuck shit up. For mm. me, what I really want to do is like get kids like turned up and realizing their own potential. I shouldn't have to make music anymore. You. And I shouldn't, for me, and with the next steps we want to do, but I, I feel like I shouldn't have to do music anymore. And I've dropped a few lines that people got upset, upset about. And I think a lot of people misconstrued what I'm actually saying. It's like I know where you're going at there. You're talking about the my e line. Yeah, and like, well, first of the bat, I'd like to actually, I actually need to apologize mm -hmm. for any um, malice that came through in that line, you know? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people looked at that line as if it was like taking a shot. Mm -hmm. And even though I mentioned other people in that same sentence, it came off a bit harsher on, on, on my E. Mm -hmm. But it was actually, it wasn't like a personal attack at my E. I didn't even know what they were going through as a, as a cash time click or whatever at the yeah. time. Yeah. So I don't understand the, in the, um, that it was going to be taken in, 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 a, in a literal uh, manner, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know any of that, and that was like one of my one, one of the moments I sort of regret, like in my raps. I never really regret any saying anything, mm -hmm. but that moment I sort of regretted afterwards because it's like I didn't know what personal situations or business situations they were going through, mm -hmm. the changes. And like I said, everyone makes changes in their careers, and I, I wasn't aware of them, mm -hmm. and. Um, that's like, that's one of the moments I pretty much, I can, I can regret, you know? Yeah, yeah. That I, one of the things I can regret in, in my music career to have done. But <clears throat> with that being said, like, what I'm actually trying to say is like, at my age, even though like, I'm trying to keep in touch, I'm really like working hard to keep in touch with sort of what I like, the things I like and developing that. But I shouldn't have to be, 
And like I say, like everyone has different wishes. But at my age, I'm, I'm coming to a certain a, a 30 now. Yeah. And at my age, I really feel like the 20 something year olds, the 19 year olds, 18 year olds, they need to be going so hard to take over from where we started. You know what I'm saying? Even though I've only done one album, but it's been sort of years building up. But the new kids need to come in and really take over mm. by force yeah. you know what i'm saying and not through the same way i did it and that's mm. why i'm really waiting to see i'm waiting to see who are the next kids who are going to create the new boys in box you know what i'm saying i see you pretty much like what 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 knowledge are you imparting because i see you pretty close with frank you know yeah frank i'm thinking now also yeah i mean frank is one of those guys i mean frank is um he gets it mm. and i mean here's my thing you seem like a complex person, you know? I mean, how do you, he's here, he's at your crib. How does, how does Frank jump all the hurdles as a kid from the East Rand to be this close to you? Mm -hmm. You know, what do you see in him, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, with Frank, I mean, the, obviously the first thing is, is, is like his musical ability. I bump, I actually, when I bumped into Frank's music, it was the whole thing track, then I listened to his mixtape, mm -hmm. uh, full mixtape. Mm -hmm. And it's just like ast astounding the stuff he did with the mixtape. Uh, probably one of the best, most solid projects, um, if, to my opinion, mm. that, it, that that's ever probably come out. But like, for me, very few people understand and get it. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't actually understand um, what position they have to play from a musical sort of scope and from a lifestyle scope, you know? I bump into a lot of kids who can rap, rap really well, a lot of producers who can make amazing beats, but they don't have a sort of holistic approach to everything that they do. Mm. And I think that's like sort of like the difference between also maybe me and some of the, the other artists that I, I came up with in this period. Um, I came up with a, with a lot of guys that, um, that are gone um, um, in terms of how we should be getting compared, you know? Mm. It's like we're from the school of like the holistic approach. Mm. So it's music, it's the image, it's the movies you watch, it's the type of music videos you watch, it's mm. the type of clothes you wear. Mm. It's the, it, that's all like a package. Yeah. And there's very few times you get the exact, exact perfect package. Mm. And, and Frank is that, is that package. So that's what makes me gravitate towards him. Hi. Yo, Rick, man, I guess you ain't gonna get us a date for the EP, you know. What I'll do, I'll make a deal with you guys. We'll drop a few tracks this week and next week. I won't drop like duds, I'll drop like yeah. some nice tracks. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the deal. Even when we drop the EP, you guys have to realize that, for real, I'm not joking, it might take me another 12 months or two years to make the album I want to make. You understand? Okay. All right, all right, Everything all right. takes its time. Yeah, yeah. So for now, yeah. what I'm gonna do is release a few couple, you know, Scoobies. Yeah. And then let's get the energy going. But do me a favor. As much as you must look at me, there's some new kids I'm gonna be introducing. Mm. And this is the thing I was like, I should I don't know if I should make an announcement. I'm not signing any artists, mm. right? I don't want to sign artists. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take care of any artists. Mm. I don't want to have my your career in my hands. Of course, yeah. What I am going to do for the ones who really want it, what I'm going to do is help everybody who really needs it, who identify potentially. If you got a song that Slicker won't put on your on your platform on his platform, or radio won't put on the station because you nobody, uh, you know, you know, you have to sometimes also accept that I'm a nobody and the stuff might not get through. People also have to start accepting that. Yeah. So you have to work harder. The more yeah. you work, people will say, oh, you're somebody. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. past that. What we want to do is I'm going to start dropping your songs. So I'm releasing songs and I'm going to pay for videos. I'm going to put everything out. I'm going to do the whole rollout for them. I'm going to start releasing people's songs as a favor to the kids. Not every kid, because mm -hmm. not every kid is there. But there's some kids that have made beautiful records that I feel like you can take them to a place. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna sign you, take your shine, mm -hmm. but you gotta promise me one thing is that when you do get your shine, make sure you use it for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. 
and there's no complacency in your steps. Because mm. that's the one thing that kills a lot of us young guys is the complacency. Mm. We couldn't afford to be complacent because there was Casper and AKA Badly. Mm. There was KO. Mm. There was still a Kudi China. Mm. So I couldn't afford to be complacent. You understand? Yeah. Right now, I feel like people can be very complacent. There's no excitement in hip hop. Mm. Casper and Ikea are still trying to go back and forth, but it's like it's more it's on the boring side now of mm. things. Mm. So people feel like they can share. Mm. And one thing I always said was that when there was when there was all those people in the game doing brilliant things and going platinum and going gold and number one song. It was the best time because everybody wanted a piece of the action. Mm. Right now, nobody's dropping hot shit. Mm. I won't lie to you, nobody's dropping hot shit right now. Mm. Nobody, mm. no one. Yeah. And you can you can say I'm wrong, but everyone is dropping shit. They just it's like this. Every every song I hear is just like this. Like shit, you can either just put in the radio or that. There's nobody trying to bend the curve, you know. Anyway. Just come at like come at this game like you really want the spot and like people aren't doing that anymore. So here's my thing, here's my deal to you. Because you're gonna go and have a hard time if you're trying to post up the kids I'm not posting. Cause, no! Cause, cause, cause at every on every day, and every day No, I find some of the kids. On, on every day, and this is what kids don't know, every day I'm listening to 60, 50 songs. Mm, mm, every day. Mm. And I'm rejecting like 50 of them because they whack. And, and I've got levels of how I literally put them in categories based mm. on whatever. So if it's a song I'm not putting on, you must know it's whack, you know? Yeah, so but what uh, I, you know, but, but until what it I gets that 16. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, until it gets that 16, yeah. <laughs> but what I, but what I, will, but I, would, what I, I yeah. will do, because I've also, we've also like started doing the same thing. We like, I don't want to have anyone's career in my hands, mm. but we started an incubator. Yes. So what we're saying with that, within our incubator, we're going, whether I plug, whether I call up like someone from TV and I go, yo, check this out or radio. Mm. But like what we're doing, we're plugging a lot of kids with the brands that we're also working with that are trying mm. to plug into the space. So mm. we literally, getting those kids because these brands are paying for media, mm. they're paying for this. So, you know, we're trying to plug through that network. And mm. once again, I mean, if we also hear anything, I mean, I I, I, I never knew you even think like this. I'd sometimes hit up like Tabiso from Cash Time mm. and go, yo, you got to check out this kid. You got to mm. check out this kid. So my thing is that, you know, I mean, we can develop this thing, you mm. know, as a thing where if the, I keep telling guys that if we work together, we can develop. We don't have to Even be in the same that. office, but yeah. like we can develop it, and I can share stuff with you, which which is stuff that I'm sharing with mm. with like the networks. I'm sharing with other labels, and you yeah. you can check that out. You know, I mean, one way, what we're gonna be doing, we're probably also gonna be doing like um, a tape, right? Mm. Like and a, the, um, like it's gonna be tracks you should hear tape mm. where we're gonna identify all the kids we think that are dope. It's like gonna be available in iTunes, blah blah blah. The shit that gets liked the most, we're gonna shoot a video for the kid. The guys haven't been told this yet, but they're gonna find out, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> but the, cut this out. Yeah, no, nah, no, no. I mean, my team, but they finding out now. I haven't sit yeah. in the office. But the, but you know, but we're gonna be dropping this tape, and it's like really gonna be all the tracks that like we we think are dope. Mm. So things like that. Once again, you know, I mean, it could even be a, a curation from you, mm. where literally like you think this is because sometimes you know kids just. Just be available on iTunes. Mm. And this is Ricky, Ricky Rick's mm. like playlist because, I mean, you sit there with these are iTunes, you sit there and you go, whatever happened to the mm. compilation days? Mm. So let's create compilations because it's easy and get mm. these kids out there and the distribution mechanism, everything is mm. there and it's easy, you know? Yeah, I it's think, just I that mean, I don't want to handle do, that person's career. That's the thing. And I think that's the hardest part, like, especially what you do, do. I mean, every week you introduce, there's always somebody new. There's always people bubbling up. And, but where's the line between like, uh, that a we have- A superstar? Yeah, where's the line between like, uh, somebody who you really feel is gonna make it, and, and someone you feel like, you know, how do you tell somebody like, um, so, so, so you're not gonna crack it? So here's my Cause thing. Cause for me it's like, now everyone's asking for help, and I'm choosing to help maybe three, four, five guys. Those other hundred people, almost become like sworn enemies to the people. That you're helping. Yeah, that you're either helping or to you doing the helping. It's like, yo, Slicker didn't want to help me. I always get emails now saying, yo, you didn't actually listen because I don't respond. If the check's yeah. not nice, I don't respond. Yeah, I now mean, it's like. You know, the reality of that is that like, you know, 
people will always listen to music, mm -hmm. you know. So for me, I do a service for people who go on the site and they don't care about what the name is and they just want to hear some dope rap. So mm -hmm. I try to curate that. Mm -hmm. Then you get people who like stars mm -hmm. and make good music at mm -hmm. the same time. Then those guys, you go, I feel that this guy has a potential. And that guy is not just the guy who just has a file, you know, they're doing other things. Mm. Because, like, I was, the drive. Yeah, I was telling guys drive. that, like, you know, I know kids, guys I grew up with who I felt were highly talented from where I come from, but they never got anywhere because they were highly talented, but they never put in the work. Now, for me, then, you know, it's a balance of, you know, you, you say you look at, like, what movies, what, what movies, I look at how hard are you working, mm. you know what I mean? Okay, I've given you the platform, I linked you with those guys and those guys, but how are you utilizing and leveraging mm. that? Mm. Because that's going to be the guy that's actually going to, like, when an opportunity comes, he'll fight for it, mm. he'll fight for his place. So I look at the guys that fight for their places. It's difficult to hear it just off a file because you sometimes got to meet guys, you know what I mean? But like the more you kind of see that some guys are consistent and the songs and the music is consistent mm -hmm. and when you go on these, I, what I start doing, I start looking at, I've stopped just listening to songs, then I go to their social media page. Then I see what are they tweeting. And, how and they, what are they and, pushing. And, yeah, what are they pushing and who's literally like speaking to them and whatever. Then you start seeing that, okay, there's something happening here. You know what I mean? So it now it's, be, it's bigger than a song. It's, it's all those other elements that mm. actually can actually inform your decision on who you fucks with or who you don't fucks with. And those are the people that the labels, you know, and, and ironically, that's all, those are only the people that the labels want. The labels want the people who already moving who are and, you thinking about these things yeah so that's why for me when i'm doing this tape you know i'm doing a tape where i'm i'm it's dope songs i know the kids are dope all i need to do for the i just need to audit like the social behavior and the social media behavior because maybe we need to start a fund maybe fund. we need to start a fund where you're actually not putting the careers in your hands where you could help these guys take it to the next level so let's say we approach somebody they put money in a big bag it's almost like the lottery well, and in that in that bag, we're able to help different people from different, without having to have them, you know. So maybe what you do, we have. Where like, we, but they don't we, owe anything. We have a fund the culture kind of thing, you know. It's a, a fund the culture thing where we put together. Every, we choose the guys, you mm. know. We choose the guys, and we go. So it don't cost to get it on iTunes. It don't mm. cost to get it on. But then we go, here's the tape then, mm. and like you guys find the counts to, to, to get someone proper to shoot a video, to get someone to go distribute the song that gets the most traction. Mm. So you know that within the tape and 12 songs, one song is literally going to be something. And if you do that every six months, and people literally go, instead of, you know, buying a CD for 100 Rand, you're streaming for 60 Rand and a million songs. So maybe instead of like getting a physical CD, put 100 Rand to help a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, we should actually start that. But South Africans don't want to start these GoFundMe pages. Yeah, well, but there was a group, a white group. I don't mm. know if you saw them. The, you know them. Uh, which group was it? For, Folk of Polistikar? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. They did, they raised 500k to record the album in less than in a week. I think they did in a week or two weeks. Mm. But those are like white Africans guys. I've been to one of the guys' studio, Johnny. So like one of the best studios in the country, a home studio, but it's like one of the best. Mm. They're successful guys, have sold units. They went to their fans and said, guys, we actually need 500k to get this done. But Can we put it in the box? So we could actually be the first hip hop people. De La Soul did it with their album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could be the first SA people to actually say, guys, let's put money in. Whether you're donating five rand, a thousand rand, or 50 bucks, you can put it in this box and we can actually And you know what, that album, is, that album is sold by everyone that put in something. Everyone that put in something is gonna wanna buy the album. So, you know, by default, even if you put in 100 rand, when that product is done, bruh, in six months or whenever it's done, when it's done and I'm going, boom, here's the product, I know, I, put, I feel I own it too. So, so already your album is sold by the donation. A guy's gonna buy yeah. simply off that. Maybe we should uh, take this offline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo, it's your boy Ricky Rick. Do yourself a favor, make sure you subscribe to slickeronlife.co.za. www.slickeronlife.co.za. Broadcast live.